Hi Pisces, my name is Tiana and welcome to my channel, Inspired by Ease. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Know that I don't do tarot. I work with a set of fairy cards. My readings aren't date specific. You can swap around the characters. And what else do I usually say? My readings aren't date specific, maybe? <laughs> um, feel free to have a look back at my previous readings I have done. And also feel, feel free to check out your moon and rising sign as well. Okay, Pisces, let's see what's going on with you. Um, intuitively, aha, this is the very Piscean uh, card. Tobias of the waters, so you can see why. That's very like you. It's very beautiful energy. Let's see what else. We'll just get all the cards out and then we'll just keep going. <clears throat> you have the raw card. So Tobias of the Waters is all about either either letting go of something or holding space. Holding space. The raw card is all about unlimited potential. Unlimited potential. And I just want to get two more cards. As I tune into your energy, I'm feeling that um, you are in a very reflective time. You might be, you know, going about your, your daily routine and everything, but there's not like a whole lot of big changes, um, like energy going on. Um, you're very in that winter season in your life, um, which makes absolute sense. You're totally in the flow of the seasons right now if you are in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, and um, yeah, I'm getting more of like an earthy energy from you and you're just doing a lot of, a lot of self-reflection right now, um, really grounding yourself so let's just jump in so you have to buy it of the waters the raw card and the master maker card so you have a lot of water and fire right now um so i sense that you with this reflective energy that is going on with you pisces um there's a lot of healing that you're doing right now which is giving rise to maybe your purpose, what you're really passionate about. Um, and for some of you, it might, this, this, this healing that you're doing, for some of you, I'm just getting a little bit of a stream of, um, this is really interesting. A little bit of anger, a little bit of like retaliation I'm feeling, um, which is completely normal when you are, when you're healing really deep stuff. Um, you are, yeah, you're really healing a lot of deep stuff, a lot of things that have been submerged underneath the surface. I feel like I'm connecting with a Pisces who is really starting to go within or has been going within for a while and is starting to find all of these deep, deep, um, just things that, that need to be healed. And perhaps some of it is so painful that it, it makes you angry. It makes you angry, which is completely valid and completely normal during the healing process. Um, and I'm connecting with a uh, Pisces who is on this journey, is on this journey to self mastery. This is beautiful. So yes, I am connecting with a Pisces who is on a healing, self-reflective, spiritual journey, who is really going deep within themselves, finding all the hidden gems, finding all of these really deep-rooted, painful things and healing them. Um, and if you aren't already, um, the advice is to be present 
with this anger to allow yourself to feel angry if that wasn't something that you were allowed to feel in your childhood. And this is all helping you to become a master of yourself, um, a master of, I mean, any kind of spiritual gift that you may have or that you may want to study. Um, this is all intertwined in your in your purpose and it's all going to add up and make sense <laughs> soon um yeah so this is all happening in in your mind space because he's like tapping her on the head you know um and for some of, and for some of you pisces there might you might be discovering your your core negative imprint that that you've had um that you were born with and if you're not sure what i mean by your core negative imprint you can um look up teal swan and she goes into your negative imprint and how to find your purpose um but anyway um i i'm feeling that like the the raw card this raw card is like the tip of his sphere or his, um, not spear, spear. <laughs> um, and so the, something about like imprint, there's some kind of imprint you had on your brain, on your mind that, that was not true and that you're, that you're starting to see like, oh that wasn't that wasn't the truth of me um or you are just rewiring your mind that's yeah you are rewiring your mind and and letting go of of things and you're just in this um really deep self-reflective time of of purification it's really beautiful Next up, we have the honesty card. So, I mean, oh, Pisces, I feel you. When we are going through that, that shaman, um, deep spiritual healing journey and we're, you know, changing our DNA, we're changing ourselves on a molecular level and we're doing all of this spiritual healing work, um, Especially if you're doing Amine, um, if you don't know what that is, it's okay. Um, but anyway, yeah, you can feel so raw. Uh, you know, you can be crying for hours and hours. Your body just might feel really um, frail and weak. Um, but there, you're you're getting to some kind of truth um, here on this inner journey that you're going on. And it's almost like really moving and really poignant, this truth that you're coming to, because maybe all your life people told you one thing and you're just realizing how loved you are or how amazing you are or something in that effect. Um, or you're realizing why you went through everything that you went through. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm tuning in with a group of Pisces who are really doing a lot of, a lot of healing work. Um, some of you are dealing with lots of intense, intense trauma and others of you are dealing with, you know, trauma on the others. Like there's just, there's just so many of you like on different points on the scale of, of trauma. Um, so I really applaud you. And if it's really intense, you know, I recommend that you work with someone, um, you know, somatic therapy I've heard is great. Also working with a completion process practitioner that you can find, um, I think on completion or the completion process.com or something like that. Anyway, um, yeah you're just you're just feeling you're just feeling very very raw 
uh, very emotional, um, <laughs> as if Pisces don't hear that enough, but, but now you are like really, really emotional. Um, I'm, I'm also getting that like you're going through swings of like absolute grief and like, like just like purging, just like, uh, like emotional, <laughs> emotional vomiting type uh, thing. And then, um, and then you like, uh, and then you discover something else and it makes you angry. And then you go through the whole cycle again and go through grief and then let it go. Um, so there's basically you are going through a lot of emotions, all the keys on the piano you are going through. It's a lot it's really intense and this is all just to validate your experience and that you are being seen and that you are being heard and you are being applauded and you are so strong pisces you are so strong um i'm also getting um my attention is being directed to his ears so um so i'm wondering if there's like something that you need to listen to um or just that you are being heard. Um, but I feel like um I'm just I'm just getting a vision of like a doggy's ears like popping up um when they hear like um like a bag of food being opened. It's like something has like <laughs> something has like registered on your radar to like suddenly be really alert and almost kind of like pop out of this um self-reflection it it is it is really interesting because you have lisa the shadows and you have the oak men and you have penelope the dream weaver so I think the ears popping up might be for some Pisces where you where you literally have to like go to a different place, go to a different environment where you can like properly heal. Um Lisa the Shadows is like what happens like right after you you overcome the devil in the in the tarot. So um this is like you completing some kind of i don't like lesson i don't like to think that we're like in some kind of like ultimate life class or something but i just mean that you like you know our our spirits come with like an intention to like experience something and to learn um more about ourselves and so there's some kind of completion that you've made and you're you're transitioning from this all of this pain and and trauma um and so yeah there's some kind of there's some kind of wrap up that you're having in your life currently right now pisces i just keep getting directed to like a puppy dog's ears like popping up um and actually with Penel like with Penelope Dreamweaver she is she has her eyes closed but she's looking up and so I think um with Lisa of the Shadows because you've been you've been in the depths of mud and horrible stuff and and so now i think there's just been some kind of completion or some kind of realization or some kind of epiphany that you've had um that is at least spiritually and emotionally helping you to to move out of that to move out of that energy because it's time i keep seeing the the wheel of fortune in the tarot <laughs> Um, because it's just time. It's just, it's just moving for you. Um, and now, and now spirit in the universe is wanting Pisces to look up, look up Pisces. Um, 
because of all the amazing things that are in front of you, all the uh, opportunities and everything that are in front of you. Um, and then for others of you, you not only are moving in this more positive direction spiritually and emotionally, but also physically. Um, somewhere where you can really root yourself down. Somewhere you can really, um, you know, experience kinship and companionship and support and um, and trust. Uh, people that you can really rely on and trust to have your back. Um, and a place where you can you can rest and you can dream and you can um for some of the Pisces where you physically are you can only go so high there is a ceiling there is a, an emotional spiritual ceiling where you are physically and so this realization you've realized that you've come to terms with that like okay now where do I want to go like <laughs> I know that I can't be here anymore so now where do I want to go um and so you're just rushing towards um what you feel and please Pisces um don't don't like rush towards things because out of like a desperate place or out of pain or because like you need to get out or or anything like that um you want you want to go because you feel inspired to go because it feels like the right thing to do um this isn't going to feel like rushed or pressured or anything like that like everything is just going to line up perfectly and it's just going to be like the next logical step okay so don't make any moves out of out of desperation or pain please um but this new place that you're going to is really going to be a place where you can really root yourself down really feel at home and be free to dream and to ascend higher um this new environment like i was saying is going to give you more resources and opportunities to to ascend to learn to grow and um and to be free um so there is this there's kind of like this um duality here where you know you need to you need to set yourself down you need to like root your root chakra down <laughs> and have that feeling of safety and security um which is going to enable you to go even higher to soar even higher and to dream even bigger and to learn more and do more and do more what you're passionate about um and to be more connected to the magic within um so, and this is going to be a whole new stage in your life. Um, you might literally be stepping onto a stage, um, but this is going to be a whole new chapter in your book because we have the two and the eight, which make a 10, which is all about just like total new chapters, a totally new reality. Um, so Pisces, you are doing amazing, amazing work. You are healing, purging, um, cleansing, purifying so many things. Your body might feel a little bit raw. Um, it's completely normal. Um, but you are going or you are wrapping things up and more nourishing people, environments, things, experiences are going to come to you and you're going to be able to really root yourself down and experience more safety and security in your life where you can really just start to unfurl yourself and really begin to blossom. And um, if you feel like you haven't really been able to blossom into your own um, know that 
it's not a flower's fault if they can't blossom if they're in the wrong environment in the wrong soil if they're if it's constantly raining and people are stepping and kicking on it if there's no sun um you know or if there's absolutely no water you know um pisces especially can be you know are highly and highly sensitive people um and that is not something to be insecure about or or shameful about that is who you are and who you are is beautiful and you might be needing that that perfect environment where you can where you can blossom and unfurl yourself and show the world how beautiful you are and show the world who you really are um and now you're going to be able to do that because you've sloughed off all of this mud and um and now you're just and now you're just you pisces so i hope that this was of value to you i'm sending you all my love know that you are never alone you are so so loved and always be kind to yourself and be kind to others bye